welcome back to the dinosaur and fossil gallery. You may remember some of these guys, but over here you'll notice that Chomp, the cafe, is gone. Just one of the changes due to the pandemic. Gone, but not empty. So right behind me is the Quetzalcoatlus. Carolyn Robinson with the Science Museum of Minnesota shows off the five new dinosaurs on display. We ended up taking certain things off the floor that were really high touch. And some of those have come back, some of them haven't, but we're still doing all of that really diligent cleaning in between visitors. And you'll still see reminders to practice social distancing. They're all pretty funny and science related, like stay a golden eagle's wingspan away from anyone not in your party. Visitors should also still buy tickets in advance, but now there are more time slots than there have been in months. We're back to being open almost the whole week. The museum just added two more days to its schedule. We're uh, Wednesday through Sunday now with just some shorter hours, but hopefully soon we'll get to expand that. In addition to the dinosaurs, the exhibit on race is updated. It's super relevant to the issues that we're talking about in Minnesota right now. And there's a brand new Cardboard City Gallery here until September 21st. You can leave your creations to contribute to the city or you can take them home with you. And if a day at the museum isn't enough, you might also consider sending the kids to summer camp. Enrollment is open, and in addition to in-person, there are also options online. Back to you.